And hey, by the way, just like actors, sometimes a car can become synonymous with a film or television show. Yeah, the Trans Am, of course, and Smokey and the Bandit, Kit from Knight Rider, the Batmobile, DB5, James Bond, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay, but arguably none are more iconic than the DeLorean, Back to the Future. Well, and get this, so soon you will be able to buy one for the first time in 40 years. A new all-electric model DeLorean has been announced with production planned in 2024. Something tells me it's not going to be cheap. Probably not. The classic DeLorean Motor Company is just up the road in Humble, and we sent Mel to check out the DeLorean of the future. See what we did there? Hi, Mel. Hey, yeah, well, I'm back. Well, actually, I wanted this to work. I'm back from the future, but not really. It's like the past of DeLorean is just down the road in Humble. It's absolutely amazing. The classic DeLorean is pretty cool, and everyone there is really excited about the new one. So, um, it was pretty awesome to go check it out. Take a look at this. Welcome to the DeLorean Motor Company. Now, a new DeLorean has been announced and in order to understand where something's headed in the future, it's always good to go back and take a look at where it all began. Well, back to the almost beginning. Classic DeLorean is where it all began between John DeLorean's company, our stewardship since the mid 90s, and now the Carry On Company that has the evolutionary model. That's what's gonna take it into the future. Long story short, in the mid 90s, a British born, at the time Houston based mechanic, Stephen Wynn bought the rights to the DeLorean name and a warehouse full of original parts, right down to those gull wing doors, all of which he had shipped here. We have about three and a half million original factory parts from 1982 here in this building. James Espy is president here at Classic DeLorean Motor Company. His life is all about these cars. I sold a car to a woman in 2009. Yeah. She came in, said as soon as she gets out of college and she gets a job, she's gonna buy a DeLorean. Yeah. So she came in 2009, out of college, got a job. What do you got? We're engaged now. Yep, he even met the love of his life because of a DeLorean. I started here in the summer of 99, and when I started here, I wanted there to be a new DeLorean, not just the original classic DeLorean. So I basically spent the last 23 years trying to get us to that point. The new DeLorean will have seats that give you a hug and plenty of room for the whole family. Fully electric, it will easily reach 88 miles per hour, but it's not gonna come with flux capacity capacity. I think it's a great evolution of where the company would have been had they continued. It was never meant to be a, another classic car. It was meant to be, in, I mean, 40 years, 40 years. I mean, probably a lot of people watching the show weren't even born when the original DeLorean came out. So it, it had to be evolutionary, it certainly did. So is James getting a new DeLorean? Uh, I'm hoping I'm getting one for a company car. As excitement builds around the first new model in 40 years, the classic DeLorean continues to hold a place in many hearts. Raf travelled from Mexico, hoping to get a tour. And I think I'm very surprised to see all of these DeLoreans behind me. And uh, because I, I know that are uh, 9,000 only in the world. I know there's about 200 here in the Houston area, but three million people, probably two million cars in Houston, you're probably not likely to see a fraction of a percent of those on the road very often unless you're really lucky or you live by us. It's so exciting to see uh, original parts from 40 years ago. It's uh, amazing. Do you have a DeLorean? Are uh, you, no. Are you going to get a DeLorean? I, I just have a DeLorean in Hot Wheels because I'm, I'm fun. I, I collect them. Before you think you can just swing by and get a tour of the garage here, as Raf discovered, you can't. Doors are closed to the public. It doesn't matter where in the world you're from, unless you're a DeLorean in need of a tune-up. We've had cars come in from Australia, Canada, Mexico, uh, all across the United States, uh, just because we have everything here at our fingertips. So the best service is done by our trained staff that have access to the best possible parts. I did grow up right around the corner and had always been curious about working here and thought the idea was cool. And then when it presented itself, I jumped at it. Uh, there, there's not really anything like it in today's market and there hasn't really been anything like it since its production. None of us have a crystal ball to look into the future. Uh, if, we, if we did, I'm sure we'd all do th some things a lot differently than we had in the past. 
But I think, you know, that was John's thing. You know, you had to keep looking to the future because more than likely, whether or not you wanted to or not, it's coming. What happens if we get it to 88? That's when you get a ticket. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought that's when we went to the future. The flux capacitor only works in the movies. <laughs> Oh my gosh, totally epic. And you know what? Like I said, you can't go and check out DeLorean in person in Umbul. Don't do that. But you can do a virtual tour of the headquarters. And um, to do that, just head to HoustonLife.tv and go check it out there. So, yeah. Okay, how was it driving it? Oh, okay. Honestly, I'll be honest. Back in the... And there's a reason why. It it's, looks like a supercar, but it doesn't drive like a supercar. Yeah, and that's because... I heard that it was because insurance was prohibitively expensive for supercars. So oh. when they were making these, they had to sort of make it... Make so it kind of slow? It's solid on the road. You know, it's 80s, power ste no power steering, but it but has a good cool. sound. But it's a DeLorean. And it's and a I, DeLorean. That's all there is to yeah, it. Yeah, like know? I was just, give me a moment, just give me a moment. It was, yeah, it was unreal. And cool to see so many in one place. Right? Like all of them lined up. Yeah. It's crazy. It's so rare. I mean, 200 in Houston, which seems like a lot. But yeah, if you see one, if you see one on the road, you're it's lucky. your lucky day. Buy yeah. A lottery day. ticket. Yeah. All right, thanks, Mel. Mel. Thanks oh, for that. Thanks, guys. Can't wait to see the new electric version as well. Yeah. Hey, still.